Hello and welcome guys back to my FM20 beta save. This is Playbook FM, I am Jay. And today we've got a match against Motherwell uh, at home in the Labrox Premiership. And then we have St. Johnston away in the Premiership as well. So since the last episode, um, form has been a bit uh, all over the place. Um, we didn't qualify for the group stages of the Europa League. Obviously, after that 4-1 loss to Wolves in the last episode, um, played them again at home. Only lost 1-0, but still a bit of a loss. Um, had a cup game against Morton, which we won 2-0 the next game. And then since then, we've just been kind of there or thereabouts, really. So today is going to be a pretty interesting challenge, considering we're coming back off international break. A massive gap between matches there. Um, between episodes, the... Um, transfer window, forgot my words then. The transfer window has closed and we've managed to bring in one more player. Brought in Greg Doherty on loan from Rangers. Also got a future fee arranged of 2.5 million, I believe it is. Um, but also just giving us a bit more cover in that central midfield role. As you can see, his teamwork's quite high, his work rate's decent. There's a box to box midfield that I'm expecting him to play very well indeed. But enough on signings, let's head into our first match of the episode. So, starting 11 for the Motherwell game. As you can see, we're playing a slightly different shape this time around. Um, same system, but a different shape. Um, I think that the key to this system is having two strikers, maybe. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out a little bit. We're looking decent at the back, but it's just... No, I tell a lie, we're not looking decent at the back, because we are conceding goals. But we're not too far away from where we should be. Anyway, the starting 11 for this match is as follows. Joe Lewis in goal, back three of Andrew Considine, Zach Viner and Scott McKenna. Scott McKenna who missed out on a Scotland call-up in the international break. We've also got John Gallagher playing at the right wing-back position. Um, I think this is the first time starting this position. He usually starts higher up on the pitch. Greg Lee on the left wing-back, which um, is our standard left wing-back. Lewis Ferguson playing that box-to-box -box role. We've got Craig Bryson in a central, somewhat defensive midfield posi position. And Dean Campbell playing as our primary playmaker. Then we've got Eamon Brophy, who's been in scintillating form since arriving at the club. Up front with Ryan Brewster, who's been playing not too bad. And we've also got Greg Doherty on the bench, ready to come on and get some minutes. But um, as you can see, I don't know why the condition is all the way over here. But um, he's not fully fit to play just yet, so we're not going to rush him into the starting eleven. But he will be there soon or soon enough. And I'm just going to resize that just to kind of... Because I don't know why the conditioning was all the way on the other side of the bloody desktop by the looks of it. There we go. Right, I've got OCD, guys. Sorry, forgive me. Right, let's head into the match. Oh, got to assign squad numbers. Um, you can have number 16. Boom. Right, so it seems like Motherwell are playing a similar system to us. Uh, right, we are favourites. Uh, bit of a double edged sword. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let's head into the match. So, league table, as you can see, since the last episode, we're not doing too bad, as I say. Form's been a bit hit or miss. However, we are still third in the Premiership which is where the media predicted us to finish. I think we we could finish second, um, considering we, we drew 3-3 three, three with Rangers. You know, which shows we're kind of up there competing with the big boys. <laughs> we're up there competing with the likes of Celtic and Rangers. However, Celtic are, well, I'm saying however, it's not too far ahead. Three points, if they drop points in this match, and if we manage to win, which it doesn't look like, as Motherwell have scored the first goal of the match, Let's just take another look at that from a set piece. We're giving away so many set pieces and in dangerous positions. I'm not sure what we need to do to address that. I think it's time to have the lads stay on their feet a little bit. But, um, but yeah, where was I? So yeah, we're only three points behind uh, Celtic in second place. Though that's probably gone down to four now considering, yeah, we've dropped right back down to seventh if things continue as they are. However, I don't imagine that they will. 
Um, we're a decent team. We're not playing too bad. I think if we had a bit more money from the board, and um, if we could, um, you know, get a, another couple of centre backs, maybe, then our luck will begin to change. However, the transfer window has closed, and we didn't get a chance to get anybody else in. And that first half has also come to a close, and we need to kind of rip into the lads just a little bit here. Um, maybe it's the fact that I've started in this shape that things have gone wrong but John Gallagher look at that starting in a wing back position is just playing awful uh, Marin will you play any better I'm going to risk leaving John Gallagher on to start the second half and if I change this to positive demand more and hopefully that will spur them on just a little bit because we can't really be affording to lose against the likes of Motherwell they've They've got no draws this season, so they've either won or lost. So, I mean, that does kind of bode well for us, I guess, in this match. Um, you know what? Nothing's happened so far this entire second half. This match is flying by with absolutely no highlights. So, I can't even pinpoint what is going wrong. But we'll take off John Gallagher because he's playing awfully. As we see through the player ratings, we're also going to take off Bryson. He's got a yellow card. Bring on Niall McGinn, who we've not seen much of so far this season um, for no fault of his own it's just that our other wingers have been playing pretty well and I think we're actually going to make a third substitution, are we going to do that? is it time to bring on Greg Doherty? no, we'll leave it just now but I do feel like we need somebody to get off the bench and just grab the game by the scruff of the neck I'm hoping that changing the system and Nile McGinn coming on is going gonna, gonna to be the catalyst to us getting back into this match otherwise we're starting the episode with an awful 1-0 loss away. Not even away, sorry, at home. But uh, Brough is trying to beat the back line there. Gets cut out by the Motherwell defence. The ball ends up back with Nile McGinn. Plays a big ball over the top to Brewster. Brewster cuts inside the area. Beats his man, takes the shot and it's into the side netting. My word. We've had so many chances like that in the games I've played offline. Um, full disclosure, I am recording this directly after the third episode and I I don't know what it is I don't know why our strikers aren't scoring in good positions and that last there puts us right bang in the middle of the table that's ridiculous right bit of a seven day break and then we're going to go and play St. Johnston in the Premier League as well Right guys, so we're back for our second match of the episode away against St. Johnston in the Ladbrokes Premiership. Our starting eleven for this match is Joe Lewis in goal, Micah Devlin, Scott McKenna and Andrew Considine as the back three with Antonio Marin and Greg Lee as the wingbacks. Lewis Ferguson and Dean Campbell start in midfield with Ryan Brewster and Conor McLennan out on the wings. And finally, Eamon Brophy up front playing a deep line playmaker role. Deploying forward role, sorry. Um, and guys, I'm not too sure what what to do to make it to like change our fortunes because our form is just so inconsistent at the moment. Um, I mean, it's always fine margins. We're getting like one nil wins or winning by one goal or losing by one goal, and it's just ay yeah yeah. But you know what? Maybe we're giving too much pressure to the lads. Let's just tell them to go out there and enjoy themselves. And then I don't think it's been at its best, not at all. Um, and then hopefully that will spark them to greatness in the second match of this episode. And already, with five minutes in, we've got a pretty decent looking highlight here. We're in the final third, flaying the ball big over the top. Ball, big ball over the top. The ball lands with Brewster. It takes a shot and Aberdeen win the corner. Oh, my word. I'm hoping we can get a goal from here. And again, I've said this in the last episode, I think. I keep forgetting to change my set pieces, so we're not actually utilising them as well as we could or probably should be. Um, but the league table have got up at the moment. We are up to sixth place as things stand. If we can manage to get a win here, we would go up to third place by the looks of it on points. However, Hibs have just gone ahead in their match and taken that position, so we would be top four. But um, Andrew Considine cuts out a big ball over the top there plays it all the way back to Lewis in goal Lewis is kind of walking forward with the ball a little bit even though he's playing as a goalkeeper not a sweeper it's quite interesting but McKenna's going on a bit of run here finds Lee overlapping 
Lee drops the ball back off to McKenna. Ball gets switched over to Brewster. Brewster with a cross towards the back post. It finally falls to McLennan who plays the ball back out to Campbell. To Ferguson. Ferguson shoots and again he managed to get another screamer from outside the box. Um, also, I forgot to mention at the start of the episode, Lewis Ferguson did actually win the Young Player of the Month award for that first month. So, you know, he's playing really well so far to start the season. And um, hopefully, if he can keep up banging in goals like this, our fortunes will begin to turn around. But I do like the fact that we have somebody that's playing a bit deeper that, you know, can provide a threat from long range out. So we're constantly a threat. If we can only get more goals from our strikers and our wingers, then things would be awesome. But um, yeah, I am happy with how we're playing. Let's go out there and start the second half. We'll make no changes to start. Let's not fix what's not broken. And um, yeah, so this, as things stand, we are back up into fourth position. I think the top four, I'm guessing that's what the green means, but I think the top four qualify for European competition or qualify for the qualifying rounds. But well, McLennan gets on the end of a big cross from Antonio Marin and puts it home for sec well, second goal of the match and his fifth goal of the season. Antonio Marin with the cross. Let's just have a look at that. So Marin plays the throwing in. Brophy plays it back to Marin. Takes a quick look up. Hoofs the ball up to McLennan who beats his marker. One touch. Well, I don't think he took a touch. He was just on the volley with his left foot and it's a wonderful goal. And this is what I wanted to see from the lads. Um, you know, just kind of be looking like a football team now. But um, it's time to make some substitutions, I, I reckon. Uh, Constantine is not playing too well at the back. We're just going to shore things up a little bit, I say, without having a centre-back on the bench. Right, we'll put Mar in there and then bring on... We'll bring on Shea Logan because Gallagher did not impress in that first match of the episode. Bruce is not really playing well, but I've got... Um, no, I mean... Right. Let's bring on James Wilson. He's been playing pretty well, to be fair. In fact, no. We're only 65 minutes in. I don't need to be making massive amounts of changes right now, especially when we're 2-0 up and we've limited them to one shot all match. And this is what I'm talking about. The system seems to be working well on the defensive end. We're limiting teams to two, three shots a match, but we just can't really find goals. Um, today's like the first match we've kind of been looking pretty pretty dangerous in attack and speaking of dangerous attack Brewster in again from the same position as he was the last match just puts it into the side net in and I think that does signal the moment to bring him off there's only a couple of minutes left anyway it's a bit of a pointless substitution but hey ho we'll make the substitutions anyway and um, you know what let's give Greg Doherty his first start and just give him a little bit of a run around so he can get some fitness. There we go. Four minutes added time. He's going to get six minutes of game time and uh, break a little bit of a sweat. And we'll try and ease him into life at Aberdeen Football Club. But I think this is going to be the last highlight of the match. The ball falls to Doherty, funnily enough. Plays out to Campbell, who finds Lee. Campbell back to Lee. Lee with the cross to the far side. Looking for Wilson, who just misses from that right wing position. I don't know what it is about wingers. It seems like the wingers in the squad just haven't got goals in them. They're getting into the perfect positions to score, but I don't know. Must be poor technique. But um, this will be the final action of the match, surely. And it, nope. Okay, they've got a corner. I was going to say it looks like we've kept a clean sheet. However, we are pretty terrible at defending set pieces, which is probably going to be my next task um, between now and the next episode is sorting out our uh, um, set pieces, but we did play pretty good. I'm happy with that 2-0 win away from home, and we'll call it a wrap on today's episode. Um, we'll come back maybe for Hearts and Celtic. Basically, I want to kind of breeze through this as, well, this first season, this save as quickly as possible. I'm recording this on Friday, Obviously, the full game drops on Tuesday, um, the 19th. And I've got another series that I want to begin on launch day, um, which will be my journeyman save. This will be the first time I've ever done a journeyman save in a football manager game. I usually do like a kind of road to glory, some might call it. Um, taking like a, a, like a League 2 or not even League 2, a conference team up to the Prem and winning the Champions League. 
but this time we're doing a journeyman save starting potentially unemployed or well not unemployed sorry we'll start at a conference club and try and get ourselves up into a champions league winning manager um so i say all that to say we'll probably come back for rangers and hibs about november because um yeah, there's a lot of football to be played and I want to get through this as quickly as possible. Right, guys, if you've made it this far, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.